Hey, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Derek Allen, and today we're going to take a look at the legacy of John Hughes and the mark he and his films left on popular culture. Born in Lansing, Michigan in 1950, John Hughes first got his taste for writing while working as an ad copywriter in Chicago. He would soon transition into writing comedy, and his story Vacation 58 would land him on the staff of National Lampoon magazine. This story described his family trips as a child and would be the basis for the 1983 film National Lampoon's Vacation starring Chevy Chase. Waitress! Other stories that Hughes penned while at National Lampoon magazine would show his strong understanding of teenage culture. He refused to portray teenagers in the usual Hollywood manner as immoral and ignorant. Hughes saw teenagers to be especially bright and deserving of respect. He would take this viewpoint and apply it to four films he wrote and directed between 1984 and 1986. Led off by Sixteen Candles, his directorial debut, and followed by The Breakfast Club, Weird Science, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. These films would be praised for their realistic depiction of high school life, and also for being some of the most popular comedy films of the decade. Hughes also broke film convention by having his characters stop to address the camera and audience. They bought it. As well as having the action continue after the end credits. You still here? It's over. These films would be a big part of the Brat Pack era, the Brat Pack being a nickname given to a group of young, fresh actors and actresses of the time who frequently appeared together in teen-based coming-of-age movies. Hughes's use of popular music in his films is another aspect of his filmmaking that cannot be overlooked. His ability to capture the emotional cues of a film with the addition of select songs such as Simple Minds, Don't You Forget About Me, remains an essential and unforgettable part of many of his movies from the 1980s. Following his remarkable success in this genre, Hughes shifted his attention to adults with his 1987 comedy, Planes, Trains and Automobiles. This began a series of films starring John Candy, such as 1988's The Great Outdoors and 1989's Uncle Buck. Uncle Buck introduced Hughes to child actor Macaulay Culkin, who soon after starred in 1990's Home Alone. With this film, Hughes almost single-handedly saved a cash-strapped 20th Century Fox. The film, which he had written and produced, generated $500 million worldwide and became his biggest and final hit. You guys give up? Oh yeah, thirsty for more. Despite becoming a holiday staple, it still generated a lot of negative publicity for its loud and fairly violent slapstick comedy. <coughs> Hughes continued to focus on preteens in the movies he would write and produce. Hey, Wilson! Credits in turn felt he had traded his sharp writing and dialogue for crude, broad-based humor. These films included Beethoven, Dennis the Menace, and Baby's Day Out. His involvement with 1994's remake of A Miracle on 34th Street brought him scathing criticism yet again, and in turn he began penning and producing remakes for Disney. These remakes such as 101 Dalmatians and Flubber were financial successes and wildly popular with audiences, however he never regained the glaring success that his first films had brought him. Hughes's final major film project was Home Alone 3 in 1997. Like the film, Hughes faded away from the spot spotlight and turned his back on Hollywood. He spent the last decade of his life as a farmer in the state of Illinois. During that time, he still wrote scripts to films under the fake identity of Edmund Dantes, named after the character from The Man in the Iron Mask, as Hughes considered himself a prisoner of his own success. His last screenplay was the 2008 film Drill Bit Taylor. Are you still in the military? I was discharged. Unauthorized heroism. Despite John Hughes' difficulty in recapturing his early success, his reputation as one of the leading interpreters of teenage life remains unparalleled. I can't believe this. They forgot my birthday. He is also recognized as the main inspiration for directors like Kevin Smith, who would follow in his footsteps. Yeah. 